Welcome to ASMTG and our high run in Mythic. Right now we're in the top 100 throughout most of this video. We have a brief moment where we're a little bit above it, but the whole idea is we're about to have our new set. So next week on Tuesday, that's when all of us get access to all the cards out there. And I wanna just play test the absolute best decks I think we have in standard right now, just to see how they're holding up at the very end of the month and how they're gonna do once we have those new cards hit and how much that's actually gonna shake up our standard. So this is a a great example though of how new cards could totally shake things up right we had almost all of this but this deck got the aftermath analyst and it got world souls rage and all of a sudden we have a tournament winner all of a sudden we have one of our top tier decks and all of a sudden we have one of the biggest pain in most of our butts right a lot of people really hate going up against this and it's evolved even though we've only had about six weeks since murderers at Karlov manor came out right it started off with i think it was 67 cars and they trimmed it down and now it's this nice tight 60 card list sometimes i feel like maybe we don't have quite enough lands and that's one of the nice things of having 67 i wonder if the two kellens are actually necessary okay maybe there's some better options i really am a fan of the vampire's vengeance having a couple copies gives us almost six pseudo sweepers in there and potentially maybe we just ditch the vampire's vengeance to the ill time explosion if we don't need it but i think it's a very well-rounded deck gangs a whole bunch of life and can be crazy explosive being able to kill somebody really fast. So I'm really excited to go on that mythic ladder, test it out and see how well it's doing. I am also in this video gonna do exactly what I did last time. I'm gonna play one game, I'm gonna wait 24 hours and then I'm gonna start playing the rest of my games. I really want you to see kind of early on in a season how much your rank will actually degrade just by not playing. So we are on day six of the ladder resetting. We're gonna get that one game in and then tomorrow we'll finish them off for day seven of the ladder resetting. I wanna see also, am I playing all mythic players or am I getting any diamond? Because in the past, it's been day 10 and one time I had day 12, I still ended up with one diamond match. And just sometimes you can't find enough opponents. Last night when I was playing one of my games, I had to wait five minutes to actually get paired up with somebody. But I, so most of my matches were under a minute and they would pair me up. So it's very interesting early on in the season just to kind of see how it all is. And those of you who don't get to mythic early, maybe you wonder how it actually is so i like to try and explain as much about this as possible not a whole lot to talk about with this deck because i know all of you have been out there and seen it if not make sure you watch these games so you can actually see how this whole kind of combo works once you get the virtuous strength once you pop them with the world souls rage for 20 plus damage to finish off that game and make sure you stay at the very end of the video and that's where i'm going to let you know what jiu-jitsu belt this deck deserves so let's go ahead and hop on that high mythic ladder all right here we go Ooh. Feel like I've played them before. Let's see. Uh, this is a winner of a hand if I've ever seen one. Let's see, what do we want? We want an island, so let's go ahead and take that. Sin, I just thought when they were a diamond, I thought we played against them. I can't remember though. Could totally be wrong. All right, we get this down. What are we up against, though? So we got Esper Color, so maybe Esper Control. A little worrying. I think we just want to... Mm, we want that down, though, before we pop it, technically. Yeah, let's just go with this now. I'm sure they have some kill spells. Okay, so they have the cut down anyway. At least we have things to return. Is that get us a forest? Okay, good. So we could play our archaeologist. Ooh. They're nothing but kill spells. So let's go ahead and get a forest. We'll get back one of our creatures. Forest. Get you back. Play this. Now we obviously, we have to wait until we have six lands out there. Just get that right back. Love that little combo. As per control though. Ooh. Huh. I bring my own. World Souls Ray here is pretty nice. At least two damage. Guess we could do better than that though. Do 
Do I just get back a land? We're gonna attempt this. Let's make them deal with it again. It's probably a mistake. Um. What do I want? Do I want another island? Yeah, I want another island. Okay, so the only good news, and the reason I did that, right, we could still always get this back if they kill it again. The problem would be a sunfall. So maybe the smart thing is you just wait until you have six mana. All right, they're going to path peril. Four, five. See, there's my six. We would have been able to do it right now. Let's go and get our card draw. See if they have the no more lies. And they have the no more lies. All right, so far they have all the answers. We will pass. We could do this for four, which is not terrible. Okay, that's trouble. Kaido. All right, that, that's not too, Maybe this is a Super Friends deck. If they have a Kaido, that's just a little odd to see. It's close. It's really close. I think we World Souls Rage, though. Should we, we can't do it with that? All right, yeah. Take a red. Take a green. And we'll take a blue. All right, so now we have got our ramp. We have 10 mana. Every single time though, oh boy. And they're gonna be discovering one of, I mean, they're tapping themselves out though. They're giving us a chance. I mean, that just tells us they don't have a counter spell. Another Kaido. Bad hit. Okay. Okay. I think we have to play it like this, right? We need our enchantment down. Go blue. Oh my gosh, I totally messed that up. So that is not what I meant to do. I meant to use those. I, I, I meant to keep that in my hand. All right, so that was a mistake. World Souls Rage though, that'll be able to finish this off. Um. Yeah, we'll just do that as well. All right, let's see. Do you have the counter spell? You have some options to draw it. Oh, such a huge mistake. We could have returned a creature. I mean, what creature would we got back though that would have been super beneficial? I guess it would be right here. Helps us find some more cards. So we're gonna get two draws would be my assumption they're gonna go for. Just no two world souls rage though is in our graveyard. So that means we only have one more left. That is risky. Okay. <gasps> that does give us our sorcery back though. That's actually really good. I think we could 
pop off this next turn, though? Let's find out. Super cool debt. Oh, you dirty bird. All right, the Lily. That, if they got that down early, would have definitely been hard. All right, so first thing we go here. Oh, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that yet. We want this first, right? Okay. Activate. Green. Green. Red. Red. See if we're going to have enough here. Uh, that's 17. And we have a wide open creature. How many lands? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a positive two. All right, we have this. I wish you could just auto trigger all these declines when you have no land left in your deck. And again, this is exactly the why. This is absolutely no fun to play against, no fun on an opponent. So we're gonna be able to do 18 to their face right here. And finish it off, shoot him a GG. Oh, submit zero. <laughs> Game's over. <laughs> Ooh, got to take it down. Interesting, spicy little brew there from our opponent. Happy to get that first victory. And this already is telling me the sad thing. Probably short video, maybe four games. These are just so incredibly long. I just cannot imagine playing this thing in paper. But if you're looking for wins, it is a good deck. It's a hard one to beat. It's just maybe, for me, not the most fun one to play. All right, here we go. Die happy one, two, three. This is now 24 hours after that last game. It's what I've been trying to do recently just to show some different things. So when we first hit Mythic, that was on day four. We played a game, we're at Mythic 12. Then the next day, we only went down, I think I was Mythic 36, won some. We got around Mythic 24 by the end of the video. And then we took a day off, and then I forget even where we jumped to. I think we're Mythic 70-something, and we finished off yesterday at Mythic 64. So now we've taken another 24 hours, and we've dropped even more than before. And so that's one thing you will start to notice, is the later we get in the season, the more you're going to degrade just by not playing. All right, we, what did we get? One in there. All right, so I think this should be a pretty good hand to go against a mono red deck. Um, I say easy block there. We'll take the extra point of damage because we have some ways of gaining life. It is tempting. Do we just put it down and go for the gusto with everything? or blow it all up. I think we're gonna just put it out here and pass. I uh, actually probably should have attacked because I don't wanna block with this now because I do wanna be able to get my lands back. Granted, we only have two at the moment. We will use our Nissa though. Wow, just the one. Okay, no blocks. 
So the really nice thing about that now is now I get to use this as a chump blocker and it won't do anything. All right, we want to use that to get this back. Maybe. We go here. Actually, we could probably just get a memory deluge off. I think this actually just might be better. Let's go another blue. Green. Actually, we'll just get one of those down. All right, so all we get is five mana out of the situation. So we will play another. See what we want to go and get back. We get another aftermath. I think that's still probably best. Could have also just gotten the Kellen back and investigated and played an additional land. But I do like this, right? We get a, get a few good blockers here. We get our mill and look at all these lands we're gonna be able to get back now. We'll just swing in for three. We know they could chump block and the closer we get them down, the better, right? We're gonna gain a bunch of life. What is that? One, two, three, four, five. And we could do it twice. Yeah, they see the writing on the wall right there. Like that, nice and quick. They don't have a huge hand. They didn't have a bunch of spells there. So that was a really tough matchup. And now we're back in the top 100. But the whole idea of doing this and kind of waiting a whole day before I play another game is I just want to kind of show you early on in the season. So we're day seven of the rank laddering and how much you kind of degrade. When you get later in the season, right? If I take a day off, day 20, day 25, things like that, you're going to lose a few hundred, three, 400 sometimes, sometimes even more just from not playing in the game so i want to show you kind of early on what happens all right right back at it no waiting 24 hours now we're just going to play the rest of our games here uh decent right because then we have one of these little sack lands into the analysis we have a world souls rage to get some lands back as well so i think let's get red first We just have to hope they don't have a bat. I mean, if like they have a bat though, they're probably taking World Souls Rage. Vran, okay. So we get this down, because at least we have a good blocker. Force them. Ooh, that was a good mill too. Actually, the fact we're playing black, maybe I should have waited on this. Playing the Aftermath Analyst until I have six lands though does seem pretty long. But World Souls Rage, we could kind of do fairly early. Oh, another good draw. But then we would need to play blue immediately. Actually, we want to play blue on turn four when we could actually utilize this though, right? All right, let's get our island now. There we go. All right, so... Nothing in there we want to get back. So we're just going to go ahead and pass. So the thinking here is this. Next turn, we're still going to play this. We play our Archaeologist. And then after that, we have a ton of lands in the graveyard. Yeah, I think this is going to be just far too slow for them, right? All right, so let's go right here. Open a mill, some land. Maybe do... Swamp. Let's go forest. I want one more forest. All right. Uh, and let's, since we have the mana, let's get back our creature as well. And I think we're off to the races now. I think it's going to be pretty, well, I guess they could have counter spells now. I didn't even pay attention. They pillayed that island. All right, so no attack. Right, right, they're not going to be able to stop my ramping, right? We get another one to come back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's gonna be seven lands 
we're going to put into play two world souls rage as well plus the virtuous strength plus we have the memory deluge yeah i think we are totally set up to do some absolutely crazy things it's too bad we can't get down nissa and then also pop it i mean we could wait an extra turn i suppose I'm curious what deck they're running though, right? To have an arena and to have a Thran. See if they have another one, just get rid of my after, or, uh, analysis now. That will definitely slow me down, but if they can't take care of this, we're gonna get just way too much value back. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, feel, I felt like they had just drawn that. Yeah, I'm just popping it now. It's it's a black deck. They're just going to have far too many things they're going to be able to get. Just too many things that are going to be able to kill my creature. You always want to make sure when you grab those, right? You try and grab the one. So, right, you don't grab the mountain because we have a ton of force that still could come out. Keep doing that. Again, there's only one island. You want to get the most efficiency out of this as possible. So then they can start swinging in, but we're at 29. If they tap out in any way, you know we're slamming the virtuous strength. Okay, a lily. Enough with the mysteries. I've come for answers. I'm tired of your secrets. Lily could be a way to halt us, right? What is that? Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Yeah, let's just go like this. Uh, let's just see how much mana we have. Just to double check. Was that eighteen? So we could do sixteen to them. I mean, that's just almost over right there. Plus, we're gaining another five life, and we can at least hopefully find just a couple lands. And just a couple turns with their arena is just going to kill them alone. And I doubt they have anything that's going to be enchantment removal. So we get memory deluge. Let's try and force them to actually use a counter spell on that. And then we World Souls Rage them. Again, though, I think it's going to be really hard for them to be able to win right now. And we have our Land to Ditch with their Lily. Keep touching it, though, like they have something. <laughs> we all have things we'd rather forget. Interesting. Obliterated. I would love to know more of their deck. Right, a few lilies, Sheldrick's edicts. Why they have those lands, I'm not sure. What's Varan doing in here? You got Arena, Obliterator. It seems like so many different plans. All right, yeah, that'll end the game right there. Unless you drop an island. All right, GG's. <laughs> just want to see how much mana we actually had there i know there's uh, some button that it taps all i totally forget what it is leave it in the comments i totally forget those little tips and tricks all the time so i'm sitting there manually tapping everything but pretty easy victory would really love to know kind of what they're brewing up here right obliterator sheltered you see blue you would think maybe you would see green when you have the obliterator out there what's the arena doing then and varan yeah so just not sure about that whole plan all right, so coming into game four, and really though, after that first game, which was a long one, right? We were, we were over 10 minutes on that one. We've had some pretty quick ones. All right, so we want the island, and then we play the forest, maybe. And right, maybe you just want Nissa down on turn three, so you want the untapped land. Play the island though, just to be safe. 
We see blue, so obviously we have to worry about the counter spells. Always makes it a little bit more tricky with a deck like this. Orc. What in the... I mean, if they're gonna give us time, I think I'm gonna take my time as well. What in the world with an orc? I will say I'm a little confused. We want a, which one does a mountain? There's our mountain. Oh, actually, shoot. I meant to play that. That, that was a mistake. Good game. Okay. Uh, please tell me what the orc was for. Maybe they just know they just, their deck takes some time and it's too hard to beat ours. Maybe they don't run counter spells, but we'll take the easy victory and move on. All right, here we go. Yeah, we'll keep this, right? Because we get that little bit of ramp. So we need a forest or island. Okay, so these will only do for us. So we'll go ahead and take our forest, play the island, get our little bit of ramp on. All right, looks like we got mono red, which we should be really good against. So we get the blue. Kellen already is kind of a little bit of a pain for them. Uh, we'll just take a, we'll take a, no, we'll take a forest, right? We have more of those in the deck. Play the mountain, we could get, ooh, oh, oh, what do we have here? That's interesting. Okay, so a, a little bit of fun in there, Mono Red, a little something different. Witch Stalker Frenzy goes away. Yeah, you know, let's go ahead and get Kellen down. Let's make them spend all their little tricks to kill this. Because then we could play Nyssa, play the land. We could pop the clue. We could then get another land back if we really wanted to. Or we could get back Kellen as well. Holy cow. Three of the synthesizers. A little excessive. All right, so we have a 2-2 two -two Haster. We're gonna block that. They're gonna have to Monstrous Rage to be able to kill my creature. And that way we're gonna take three here. Okay, additional shock. But again, it's all about just saving some of that damage. And green. Let's go ahead and pop this. Ooh, that's good. Let's get that value out of this. If I want to land two, four, six. I'll be able to play that next turn. You know what? Yeah, let's just take it. So we could play the Virtuous Strength and just go for a real quick win. I think it's going to be the Aftermath Analysis, though. I think that's just a slightly smarter play. But if they have the burn though, okay. Drops us to 11. All right, so it's gonna be blow this field up. Uh, we could ditch, we could ditch. And just go with this right off the bat. See what we're able to mill in there. All right, so we're still at 11, we're in decent shape. Not the greatest graveyard. Right, at the moment we only get two lands, that'll be three lands back. So that's not huge. They have the lightning strike. Nope, okay. I think we have to take this too. Yeah, no block. It's better to just get our stuff back.
There's no one mana kill spell here. Oh, that's good. All right. <laughs> so they gave up there. It would have been fun. I mean, I think we we are just good on that game. Just take a quick look at it. So we would play the aftermath analysis. We would have had both of them sitting back, ready to block. Whatever one they blow out, we just sack it. We get a few lands back. We drop the virtuous strength. And then we could world souls rage, and then it's going to be game over from there. Still, I feel like with all they have, I would play it out a little longer. They do have me down to nine life. All we're gonna do is gang, that was one, and then another three. So we'd go up to 13. They don't know about my other one either. All right, so far I think everybody can see why I consider this to be one of your absolute premier decks of this format. This is not a pretty hand, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna mulligan that, right? If we don't have any of those, I just don't like it. I do like everything here, though. I will give me my forest at least. I guess we get rid of the, the memory deluge. So we get our for forest. We get our archaeologist. Maybe we didn't need the world souls rage yet. Maybe that's a little uh, premature on that. Uh-oh. Okay, I am curious, right? How are we going to do, though, against just straight-up control? And if this is straight-up control... We are incredibly happy we didn't keep that first hand that had two Vampire's Vengeance. Don't love the fact that we have one now. All right, let's play this. See if they just start using the count. No, okay. They definitely seem to have had a counter there. Oh, my goodness. That. There's my land. Now I need that aftermath analysis real bad. <laughs> okay, we uh, attack him for one. I guess I should have just forgotten about that so that could have had one power, right? We Ooh. Ooh, okay, just guy. Yeah, you're 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 going to wait a tidbit. You know what, let's just throw them out here. Let them use their counter spells. We need them gone anyway, eventually. It's, I suppose, the less important. An aftermath analysis actually hitting, that's our key. Wow, we cannot find a land. This is really bad. <laughs> we have them all in the graveyard. So all of our other games have been going incredibly smooth. And then this one just, I mean, we mulliganed because it was a bad starting hand. You don't assume to have land problems. So we want our other island. So we're going to be able to memory deluge. And then after that, Soon the Wandering Emperor is just going to come on out. I'm a little surprised in Jeskai. I don't know if I would run this creature land. I just, I mean, you like the scry, but I don't think it's as good as obviously the Azorius one. I don't think it's as good as the Boros one either. Problem is, I mean, they could, okay, they have the Azorius one too. That's going to be our actual issue. <gasps> no. All right, that's bad. I think we just popped two of these. We don't need all the memory delusions in the world. Uh, we need a, oh my gosh, that's Island Swamp Mountain. That's bad. I 
And we need... We need a forest, right? We need to get that virtuous strength down. They have, still have get lost though. They still have the march that could get rid of our enchantments. Okay, they use the march there. That's the only good piece of news. It's not like we get all that much back though either. You want to make them spend their mana on their turn. So again, we could find an untapped green, maybe play this. All right, Jace. I still have the mana up. Focus on the facts. Let's see if we, they'll let us draw first. We don't have the no more lives mana. Okay, they just had the hard counter anyway. Ooh, that was a, that was a red land though, right? Okay, it was a red land. We still wouldn't have been able to do it, but we have three World Souls Rage. What are we at, 18? We do have to be careful. I mean, do we do it for five? But we can't really get lands back. I guess we have to risk it though. I'm going to decline that, actually. We want to keep that in there. Well, never mind. I, I am sorry. That's a mistake, right? Because you could just do this, minus it for one. And if you have another Jace, it's just game over anyway. Okay. Okay. We could do this. Okay, we have it. Hoo hoo hoo. 410. Leaving up the no more lies mana, even though they don't have it. Exact victory. Wow. That was tough. I did not know we were going to be able to do that. One, we didn't draw the best. They also were able to fare well twice to get rid of my library. But that just shows, again, how strong this is. We're beating aggro. We're beating control. You get one virtue down, and we're just able to blast them in the face. All right. Getting a nice rank up for ourselves so far. Uh, forest. I don't use this one for the forest because we have the islands. That one's for the mountain. And not a super strong hand, but we could get one of the cards back and just play it again. So we'll go ahead and keep this. Let's try this out. All right, so we want the forest first. Definitely seen stronger hands, but if it is aggro, at least the fact we know we could blow it up on turn four. And now let's go ahead and get that mountain. Or I want to get that back now. Let's wait. Right? Because if we don't draw anything, we can still always do it next turn. That's absolutely fine. Okay. So we still don't have it. We're going to get another... 
Right, we have all the islands. We don't plan on... Eh, maybe we should have drawn the next turn. I think I'm making little mistakes right now. Uh, basic mountain forest. Yes, we'll take that one. Problem is, whatever we do blow up, they're going to get their cami back because we know they're going to play enchantments. Although we probably... Never mind. We probably couldn't draw anyway. I'm just assuming they were going to play another enchantment there. And then it was just going to get too big on us. Let's just do it now. We need to draw some cards. We got to find something. It's not good at all. Wow. What are we going to do here? So that drew two, wow. That drew two cards. That would have drawn four. Maybe we would have found the answer. I mean, that's eight. They have lethal next turn. What do we do? We can't just draw. That's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Sure, they have an ossification. You do it for three, kill one of these things. We gain a little life. It's not very good though either. Man, we, I mean, I guess, shoot. I guess getting rid of the memory deluge was the best bet. We would have taken care of both of them. We would have saved all that life. So this is just a big old blunder game, I guess we're gonna have to call it. All right, let's go three. Four, seven, eight. Another Galax. They play one more enchantment. They have it. That's 10, 12. Oh, yeah. GG's. All right. Get blown out by Slezzy enchantments. Really bad game on our part. Um, big mistake. We should have just got rid of the memory deluge. Blown those two up. It would have given us a few extra turns. So I think we we're playing really solid with the deck and just absolutely threw that one away. Welcome back, and we did excellent with this deck, right? Easy run those first six games, and then just absolutely kind of fall apart in that last game, right? Don't necessarily have all the things we needed, but with this deck, the first game, I was worried, oh my gosh, we're about to get four videos in, and that's it. It's going to be this long slug out fest, right? We got to go against that, uh, what was that, super friend style deck in game number one, and then we got a lot of really quick wins. It came together, our lot of opponents saw the writing on the wall, and they gave up, and that's the one saving race with a deck like this it's super annoying to go against and you know once it's past turn four or five it's almost you feel like you can't necessarily win that game they're going to get way too much value out of it and so you just take off with it but the thing is playing with the deck it actually encourages me when i play against it I'm definitely not giving up turn four or five because a lot of times we didn't have much in our hand, right? And so on those games, if they were able to put more pressure on us and keep going, they could potentially get those wins. So a very good lesson. And what I always say, if there's a deck you hate or if there's a deck that's very prevalent in the format, play it. Learn that deck. Learn the little tips and tricks. It's going to help you beat it. Now, as far as with Jitsu Belt, I got to give this thing a black belt. I think it's better suited in best of three. We've seen it win lots of tournaments with it. Great sideboard options, but this thing is an absolute beast on best of one as well. Because of all these lands to gain you life, because you have the aftermath analyst that's going to be able to very quickly turn four, boom, get all these back, potentially ramp you to eight, nine lands out there, virtuous strength on then the next 
next turn and the turn after that, we just blast them in the face to kill them, okay? The only thing that would kind of stop that if they're able to gain just an absolute absurd amount of life, right? We're talking they need to be at 40, 50. Then we might need a couple World Souls Rage or let this game go a little longer and get more lands down there. But the only real deck out there is that Orzhov Life Gang deck that could do that. And so that's a deck I think actually could cause this one some problems because a lot of their creatures could get outside of that ill time explosion they'll just get a little bit too big but this one potentially also just will get ramping so high and you may be able to hit them for 60 70 with a good world soul of rage but because it goes against mono red it goes against boros it goes against control like we saw it's just good against every single deck it's so adaptable it's for sure a black belt one of the higher win rates and one that could go against any deck out there in the meta so that's what we're trying to do right now we're trying to look at murders at Kartilov's standard absolute best decks see how they're performing now at the very end right before we have our new cards and then we're gonna have to see next month how are these things holding up do those new cards totally shake things up you have to remember after murders of karlov manor it took a couple weeks before this kind of little combo kind of came together and people realized it's not just a meme it's not just a one-off and it is one of the best decks we have in our format so until next time never forget you're an ace